guys my name is Nokshad welcome to learn MVC this is my fourth video to the MVC tutorial so this is today we are learned uh, how to pass a data action to view in MVC so so I am saying about the ASP.NET old ASP.NET web form so whenever we require to maintain a data in a client side that time we are using the view state but in ASP.NET MVC there is a no available view states okay so some different mechanism is available in the ASP.NET MVC I'll just write here which is available so here the view data slash view back the other is cam data and the last one your old friend right so your three way is available three mechanism is available to handling a data right so first we talk about the view data let's do the practical so it's very easy to understand how what is the view data and view back so whenever you require to pass a data action to view that time we are using the view data and view back in this video we are only do the practical view data and view back in the next video we are doing with the stem data and sessions okay so now right here view data this is the keyword of the mvc is not an mvc view data i just pass the name of the view data my data and just, uh, just set the data whatever you require i just pass the data system data time string okay now just go to the my home page CSS HTML page and just write here heading not heading paragraph and just view data value at the rate view data at the rate is the razor syntax I'll talk to you later about the razor syntax in details just pass the name of the view data the name of the data is my data ok now just save and run the application let's see what the happening is there I just put the breakpoint here and I just run the application I'll show you uh, I'm sorry this is my, my last lecture came to source my last lecture came to source is there I just remove this all ones and show you again. Okay, now just step the over and just fill the view data already. Just right select the view data and just go to the pin source. Let's see the data fill or not. Data is filled already. Just click on continue and see on the view. See here, video data will use data is there. So whenever required to pass the data action to view, that time you can use the view data. The other option is view bag. View bag is nothing new. View bag is a synthetic sugar of the view data. Uh, in other language I say this is the simplify syntax of the view data the view data syntax is a very complex to use that's why the view bag is there in a very easy simple syntax is there just write a view bag dot your keyword your name of the view bag property name my data and pass the data whatever you require I just copy the date and pass here now just save and just go to my homepage.cs html page and just enter and just put the paragraph and just write here view back value right and just pass here view back dot my data right just put here break so it's very easy to understand just save and run the application and let's see My action name is home page, not a my home page. Just enter. And let's see the step over here. View data is already filled and just select the view pack, just right click and go to the pin to source. And let's see if the data is there or not. Just refresh it. Right data is there, just click on continue. You see here view bag and view data will be available, right? Now I'm just going to the do the changes here. One one change is just stop the application and uh, I write here return redirect to action I'm just called to the action action to action redirect to the action I, I need to jump the action about on the about and the controller name you go right now you save the application let's see
this is the step over view bag and video data is available right now i'm jumping the action to action see here view data is null and view bag is also is going to be null so whenever you require to pass a data action to view that time you can use a video data or a view bag but whenever you require to pass a data action to action that time view data and view bag are not handling a data that time you need to be the user tam data right so in the my second video i'll explain you what is the tam data and how to handle a data action to action and how to handle a data for a multiple request in the asp.mbc i hope you understand for the view data and view back if you have a doubt please feel free to mail and uh, chat with the chat with me skype my skype id is available on the my channel and if you like my video please subscribe to my channel and share the my video Thank you very much for the watching this video.